channel. My name is Kristen. I am a mom of three homeschooling my three kids. I decided recently to take a more secular approach to my homeschooling and this was a very personal decision for me. Learning wise, I wanted to have them more separated. And so for this reason, I am taking a more secular approach to homeschooling. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what we've been up to these past few weeks. We have been focusing less on actual academic work and more on exploration and nature studies. Where I live right now, the season is changing. It's changing into spring. There's a lot of changes outside. We're in the point of late winter right now where sometimes it'll snow really hard. We'll get another snowstorm and then like within the same week, it's raining. So the weather outside has been just back and forth and all over the place. And that's normal for where we live. However, it is also getting a lot warmer and our souls need the sun and to be outside. It felt so good today, just being able to sit outside in the sun. I feel the vitamin D just soaking into your skin. It was nice. So we've been outside a lot more. So if you follow me on YouTube, you know that I've been posting little shorts, basically kind of doing very short little vlogs of our nature studies walking through the woods. So if you haven't subscribed to me, please do so now. That way you can get notified and see pretty recent things that I like to post. I like to post a little bit about the kids in our nature walks and stuff like that. So it is a lot of fun. Recently, uh, we discovered a tree had the bark always being stripped down and I was wondering, I'm like, what the heck kind of animal is that? So, so me and the kids were kind of looking at the tree and this is what I mean about just like some nature studies. This is what we're doing. We're going outside and we're exploring. So this tree is in my yard and we're looking at it and we're like, what the heck is this? You could obviously see termite holes with like all over the tree and stuff, but the bark was like all around the ground and I, I didn't really know what kind of animal would create that. So I went to Google and I was searching it while my kids were kind of inspecting the tree and talking about it and playing and I discovered that it's actually a black bear. So what happens is the black bear emerges from its slumber, from hibernation, late winter to early spring and they'll emerge and they don't have much food to eat. So they actually strip the bark off and then bite at the um, layer of tree underneath that bark to get the sugar. And that's how they get their carbohydrates in their early spring to late winter. So I had no idea about that. We're following these little rabbit trails about bears and stuff because I want to do a little mini unit study with the younger kids about bears and stuff. So as the weather changes, as it gets warmer outside, things change a little bit more. I want to focus on what we're experiencing in real time with the weather outside. So for Blossom and Root Nature Study, we are now on week seven. We just learned about moles and digging and animals that dig the week prior. And then this week we learned about squirrels, chipmunks, or a chuck. So I also started little um, Blossom and Root early years. So we started this. So far, I really like it. It was kind of funny because one of the first things it talks about is walk for the five senses. So I'm trying, I'm sitting in the woods with my kids and I'm trying to like think of questions to ask them. And I'm like, so what do you hear? And then my son's just like the river. And I'm like, what do you see? The river. <laughs> what, what do you smell? The river. So it's like, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it was like, well, I mean, it's like the only thing that we could see because we we're literally right next to the river. So I can't really blame him for having that those answers. He wasn't being like a smart aleck or anything. He was just literally describing what he could see in here, which was overwhelmingly the river. So next time I do something like that where we're working on the five senses, um, probably go somewhere further away from a river that is super loud. We never got to the math or science or anything like that. We only got into the nature. So I think from this point on right now, because we've been cooped up all winter, we're so sick of it. 
we're going to be doing a lot of things outside. So whatever school we do, it's going to be outside. So we're really, really pulling back on the workbook stuff. I also want to give a try with Little Acorn Learning. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of Little Acorn Learning. So this one is their May guide. I'm not going to do the May yet. Um, but I have other guides in here. So I am bound it and put together a really big book of a couple things. So what I want to focus on right now, actually I have my eye on, um, they have a curriculum for leprechauns that I want to do this week. So anyways, I have a curriculum that I have my eye on because this week is St. Patty's Day. So it, that one is focused on St. Patty's Day. So I kind of have my eye on it. It's like roughly eight bucks. I think I might get that and start that one first. But one of the first ones I want to do, their Spring Awakening. And after that, probably the Seeds and Self-Reflection. Just because this everything hasn't quite come to life yet. So I want to do Spring Animals and Awakening first because everything's coming back to life. And then I thought that seeds and self-reflection would flow a little bit better after that. It's roughly only one week worth of stuff, but I figure I can really spread it out because they have a lot of finger plays. Um, so the spring animal ones, they talk about the supplies you need. And then usually they have the book recommendations. They give you a good blackboard drawing. This is a Waldorf inspired curriculum. So it has a lot of finger plays. You're supposed to memorize the stories so that you're not reading it. You're having as much emotion and intensity and being really fun with it. So um, it has a Waldorf flavor to it. I don't know if it's 100% Waldorf themed but it's definitely Waldorf. You do a bunch of finger plays and songs. My daughter absolutely loves the finger plays and songs. Um, my five-year-old is fighting it, so I'm gonna give him the option because I'm trying to like pull back. And we can do all this stuff outside, which is fantastic. Just to get more of a rhythm because I feel like since we've had COVID, we have not had a really good daily rhythm or schedule and it's just kind of been all over the place so I'm trying really hard to get back into a schedule um, I think it's really beneficial for young kids so we're getting back into that and I want this to be one of the first things we do as like a circle time maybe like a hippie more of like a crunchy circle time where we're all outside and we're feeling the sand between our toes and relaxing so I feel like that might be a little bit more fun Kids are, my, well, especially my kids, but kids are definitely a lot calmer when they're outside. So I figure we can do a lot of this stuff outside with the weather getting better. I have done Little Acorn Learning before. I do really like their Circle Time songs. I think it's really sweet. Um, they have great ideas for what you can do for the week. They have little short morning talks. Um, they have like daily activities and the daily activities, they do something different every day. So for Monday for this week, for the spring, you're gonna take your child out on a nature walk and talk about the season of spring. Here's a free spring scavenger hunt to bring along and check off as you and your child find each item. So they provide this on their site. So if you wanna go check them out, this is on there for you for free. Also on the same day, you can make baby butter jars um, and paper cutting spring animal silhouettes. So I like this because it's kind of like something to do. I'm trying really, really hard to get my kids off electronics. So I feel like this is something else to do with them that gives me ideas. I do really like them to play independently and like entertain themselves but I also want them to do things that are educational as well um, and child-led too. What? Oh, thank you. Mmm, 
thank you. So anyways, I really like Little Acorn Learning because it gives me ideas and it just adds a little bit of fluff to the day so that it's not just them kind of like doing whatever. We have some schedule and structure to our day and they have they can do something that is going to be a learning um, process or beneficial for them. So I really like Little Acorn Learning for keeping a good schedule. Um, I don't know how the next few weeks are going to look for us just because with the weather going back to spring and warmer and we're awakening and everything, it's just such a breath of fresh air after being cooped up all winter because where I live, it gets pretty bad out there and the kids can't be out for very long. So it's just... So anyways, we're having a very easygoing, gentle, child-led learning type of month I think we just need a break from everything um, it can get overwhelming especially when all you do is just get up and you don't have anywhere to go we only have one vehicle right now times are really hard um, but I'm very thankful for what we have I don't want people to think that like I'm ungrateful or something because we only have one vehicle um, ooh, thank you we, we're very fortunate for what we do have, but when you're homeschooling, you only have one vehicle. There's only so much you can do. So we've been kind of cooped up and I'm very thankful that the weather is turning so that we can actually go out and explore our property. So hopefully within the next few months, we can get that breath of fresh air and move forward and, and doing um, more workbooky things. But for now, I think that Nature-based nature learning is just, it's so good for my kids. I love it. So, I hope you all enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I will keep you guys updated on our weekly, monthly, what we're doing um, with homeschool stuff. Like I said, right now it's very laid back. We're still trying to catch our bearings after COVID so um, hopefully things will go back to normal and we'll have our new normal so thanks for watching